Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mondays with me, Dr. Crystal. So I'd like to thank Pershing for the idea for this video. We're not gonna talk about alcohol poisoning, but we are gonna talk about alcohol. Here's to you, my loyal subscribers. So today is New Year's Eve, and I want my subscribers to be well informed when they go off to ring in the new year. For many people, New Year's Eve and alcohol go hand in hand. I mean, it's customary to do a champagne toast at midnight. So I thought today we would talk about alcohol's effects on the body. Okay, now listen, if you're not down to get your learn on with me today, you just gotta turn off this video right now. It can't always be about the fun guys. We're gonna learn today. So here we go. So let's just imagine, you've been waiting all week to let loose. It's Friday night. You get that first drink and you take a sip. Ah, that's good stuff. At this point, the alcohol is making its way down your esophagus to your stomach, where it will be absorbed into your bloodstream and move on to the rest of your body. At this point, your poor body is like, what is this stuff? This is poison, I gotta get rid of it. So your liver, which lives about right here, starts breaking down the alcohol with an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase. If you start to drink alcohol faster than your body can break it down, that's when you start to feel drunk. So that's why you might notice if you drink a drink faster, you feel more buzz than if you just drink the same drink at a slower pace. So alcohol is known as a depressant, but it kind of has two phases. Initially, alcohol reduces your inhibitions, and actually provides a little dopamine release. Now dopamine is like giving your brain a high five. So at this point, you are feeling good. You're having a good time, all is right in the world. You might even go talk to that person from the office that you've been afraid to talk to because you're just feeling that good. Then let's just say you continue drinking. You're maybe two, three beers in, and the depressive effect kicks in. So at this point, you start to become clumsier, you're slower to react, your vision might start to get a little bit blurry. Everything's starting to get depressed. So why does this happen? Alcohol actually causes a release of something called GABA in the brain. GABA stands for gamma amino butyric acid. So GABA is a neurotransmitter in the brain that dampens responses. So this is what causes that sluggishness and the impaired speech that alcohol is so well known for. Now this is not the time to make important decisions, people. Listen to me, don't do it. Along with everything else, your behavior inhibitory centers are depressed, so you're more likely to do things that you wouldn't normally do. It's at this point where you might send a drunk text to an ex. Just don't do it, people. OMG, I have to pee again. So why is that? Alcohol actually blocks an antidiuretic, in parentheses, anti-pee, hormone. So if you're blocking a hormone that's supposed to suppress urination, you're gonna urinate, a lot. In the meantime, your body's trying to get rid of this poison that you're putting into it. So you're just peeing like a racehorse. Now you're starting to get dehydrated and that is not gonna help in terms of a hangover in the morning. All right guys, I think that's enough learning for today, but now that you're armed with knowledge, I think you're ready to take on New Year's Eve. Did we cover everything that alcohol does to your body? No, not even close. But I bet you know more now than you did five minutes ago. But seriously guys, please, if you're even gonna have one drink, find a designated driver or call an Uber. I promise you that getting a DUI or hurting yourself or somebody else is gonna cost you a lot more than a cab ride. So please, everyone have a safe and fun night, and I'll see you in the new year. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe. We're over 700, so cheers to that.